Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, I'm back again today. Um, I finally got the TJ out of here. Got the garage. It's a disaster. I got tools piled on tools. But at least I uh, got the TJ out so I get the JL in. It's out there getting snowed on with no top. Whatever. But uh, still working on those uh, marker lights. I got sick over Christmas. Just didn't get a chance to tear into it. And then I wasn't working outside with, you know. But anyway, these came in. And this should be a much easier install. We're going to do this real quick. These are the Morimoto uh, headlight uh, adapters. So you can run a 7-inch. In this case, I've got the uh, sealed 7s. This is a 1.0. They were on sale. I think I paid 110 bucks for the pair um, during their Black Friday sale. And then I ordered this also on sale. Um, it was 180 bucks shipped, which is a little more than the one on uh, Amazon or eBay. But this should have a ring that kind of um, eliminates that ugly gap that the uh, Amazon one gets a gap right here and I'm just not that excited about that so we'll uh, take a look here and see what we get so I don't even know where my knife is down here so pop it with a screwdriver oh yeah okay so get some cool stickers exciting let's see packing slip huh. And then you get a box in a box. That's cool. So hang on just a second here. Just, a, just doing this with my phone, guys. All right. So these are the, this is the kit you get. That stuff always seems to come well packaged. It should. It's uh, not cheap. Plenty of bubble wrap. So, these will be your adapters. So, uh, you know, this one, I think this is the H13. Yeah, because this is your, ooh, those don't look all that great. They're stepped. Does this one come stepped? Uh, uh, we'll see when we get there. I don't know, they looked a little twisted. But this goes to your harness on the Jeep itself, and then this goes to your adapter, to your adapter. Apparently... They heard you like adapters, bro, so I got us adapters for our adapters. So let's take a peek here at what we get. All right. All right. So this is the whole key to this piece, in my opinion. And this is the whole reason why I waited for this and didn't do another one, because this should adapt and fill in any gap. See, that, it won't be on the front, obviously. It'll be behind it. But that should fill in your gap. Past that, pretty standard. Feels like like ABS plastic, nothing special. Um, interesting. I'm assuming there's hardware in here for this because you have your standard three bolt kind of uh, you know thing to hold it on there. Um, I don't know. They seem decent. Where's the adjusters? Ew. Uh, I'm not super in love with the with the adjusters. They're right here. We'll have to see how accessible those are with these on um, for adjusting your height and your uh, left to right. So I don't know. I'll uh, I'll follow up here in just a bit. All right. So the next step of this is to take the uh, the headlights out. You got to pop your grill off for that. Just like a JK, you pull these top little guys and there's just a, you just pop them up and you pull it out. And then if uh, it leaves the bottom piece in, you just literally lift up on it and it'll come out and you can pull it out. Then you have a clip here and a clip here. And that's just a matter of getting your hand behind it and giving it a good pop. And you're going to probably freak out because it's going to feel like you're going to break the Jeep. But, um, you know, get as close to the fastener as you can. Give it a good, Ugh! you know, like a real quick, short pop seems to work the best for me. Um, but um, yeah, from there, then uh, we'll go on and we'll check out the headlights. Then it should just be 10, three 10 millimeter bolts. Headlight will come out and then we can look at installing these. Okay, so as I'm assembling these, uh, look, and there are directions. 
and it says you go here to the website and select your thing and blah 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 and click the install guide button I cannot find these on the Morimoto website they just might be too new what I'm not digging is the adjusters they come loose they just kind of like hand tight and in order to adjust them they're not captured so the whole screw spins there are little slots in the end there I don't know if you can see it there's a little slot so you can put a screwdriver in there and then spin it but when you put it in the into the housing I mean it's like here so it's gonna suck to get to <sighs> don't like that um, yeah I feel like that could have been engineered a little better, but otherwise they seem pretty decent. Um, I'm going to keep on going on with the install here, see where we end up. But uh, yeah, that was just a little bit of feedback. I'm not real wild about this. I mean, this if this was captured, it'd be no big deal. You could just tighten them and loosen them, but it's not. It's just a, it's literally just a screw. Um, and the other side, it literally is a Phillips head screw. So, um, yeah, it's not my favorite thing. So we'll keep going here. Okay, so here's something else that's a bit of a disappointment. So these are your adapters. Both came with the Morimoto setup. And that little guy right there, that little bridge, there's no place for it. So to make these work, I'm going to have to snip and then grind that little ridge off or file it off or whatever. That's just annoying. I mean, come on, guys. It's the same company. So far, man, I don't know. I'll update here in a bit. Okay, a couple of things. One, I believe these are involved in the adjustment. However, you do have two adjusters on the back for fine adjustment. But what I found was when you first put these in, those adjusters are actually in, and I moved the adjusters out so that this would come up flush with the trim ring. Otherwise, you have a big old gap, and I'm trying to avoid that gap. So um, that was the whole reason I bought these and not the other ones. So just a quick tip. Uh, you can actually move the headlights forward, um, probably, yeah, I'll show you how much. You can move them forward, uh, call it half an inch maybe. So plenty of adjustment there to bring them forward. The sides are slotted to kind of assist with that. You can set them where you need to, they need them to. Um, I'm assuming once this is in and tight, these will really be the adjusters. You know what I mean? The, you won't really touch these again. I don't know yet, but at this point, I think that's uh, that's kind of the key. So definitely with these that don't have the like real long front end, um, you definitely have to move the bucket forward. So, all right, uh, can you keep plugging on here? Okay, so we're plugging along here. Uh, this one's in. Uh, driver's side. Um, I think I already mentioned. Okay, so these don't adjust your headlights. They do slide, um, but that's more locating. Your adjusters are on the back, which you have a good access over here. I'll be curious to see how it is, and I'll post how it is with the airbox behind this one. So, so those are that. Then we get over to this. So I noticed the way these work, there are locating tabs. So you have a tab here, tab here, and there's a third one, tab here. So I got nervous, and I'm like, well, what if you want to use different lights? Because the whole reason I bought this was to try out different lights. These are the cheapest lights I could find on eBay, and they also have those locating tabs. So you should be good pretty much with any aftermarket uh, sealed you know, LED light. These are the El, El Cheapos with a halo. These are the Morimoto's that are supposed to be better. We'll see how it goes. She wanted to try different ones. And uh, although with how much is involved in this, I don't know if we'll do that, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, you can use other ones if you want. Okay, something else I forgot to mention, uh, that tab, I just winged it with the grinder real quick because whatever. But that does seem to be enough to make this work. Um, oops, I pushed that out accidentally. Just did that. But um, I'm sure that'll push back in, no big deal. But yeah, that's how you deal with that. Um, I lopped it off on the other one and was able to squeeze it in there and it seems to fit okay so not my favorite thing in the world for what you pay but it is what it is so that's how you can make that work if, if it won't for you another quick little tip here these chubby ones oh your kit comes with six kind of fat screws and skinny screws skinny screws go on these three the the fat screws hold hold the uh, trout adapter for the outside on um, if you get them wrong the little screws aren't going to go hold the uh 
the uh, adapter, this guy. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up because I couldn't find the instructions, so maybe it'll help you out. Okay, so this is what I brought up with this one. See how tight I am on, on the adapter? I, this one I just put into the bucket and look at this big old half inch gap all the way around. That's why you leave these loose and run these screws out, which is gonna put your direction all cattywampus, but it doesn't matter, you're gonna have to aim them anyway. So uh, my two cents is you need to move them forward if you're gonna use like a normal uh, sealed bulb like this. If you're gonna use the big old boob looking one, this is probably fine, but um, obviously why these are slotted is to accommodate different depths uh, of the different headlights. All right, so uh, I had access on the passenger side to get to the adjusters, so I'll show you that in a sec. So I just slammed the grill on. I got to put the final fasteners in, but that looks pretty cool. Um, kind of that murdered out look a little bit, kind of darkened up the front. Uh, let's see passenger side you can absolutely get your hand on here to get to the adjusters I think they're eight millimeter if you need to use a wrench or you can use a little stubby screwdriver uh, you should be able to adjust them like that I don't know we'll see how they uh, perform but uh, I'm hopeful so anyway uh, that's where we're at right now and I thought I'd give you guys a look I'm gonna go ahead and hook up I've got a wire coming out to tie into the daytime running lights for both the fogs and the headlights as soon as I get that wired up I'll pull it outside and take a picture for you guys all right, and here's the final product. Uh, I like it. Um, the blue wire is the wire you want to tap if you have the Morimoto's. Uh, that gives you your daytime running lights. Uh, it's kind of cool. The, and, and the camera makes it look like this lower one is lit up more than it really is. In, in person, it's really just the pinpoints. And it's more of a blue than the camera really shows. So, really noticeable. Really a different look than everybody else's. Um, I'm really happy with that. So anyway, uh, first impressions weren't super great, but second impressions as I installed, it started to make more and more sense. It would have helped if I could have found the instructions. I don't know if they're just not on the website yet or what. Um, but overall I'm, I'm pretty pleased with them. We'll see how they perform. I'm sure they'll be better than stock and I'm going to aim them tonight once it's dark. So she doesn't, uh, my wife doesn't high beam everybody in the morning on her way to work. So anyway. Uh, headlights are in and there she is.